Hi, this is Frank with The Frank Opinion. A little while ago, while having my second cup of coffee this morning for breakfast en route to preparing myself to watch the Super Bowl, a thought came to me. And the following is this. It's kind of, I had to do it quickly, so bear with me. Here's another type of Super Bowl, one that we've been experiencing for many years, but really, in this past year, amazingly number of times. So here we have our, our team, 11 players. We have the uh, quarterback, DT, known for his deceptiveness, his speed, his wiliness, his ability to bait and switch. Guy's terrific. We have the center, Mike Pence. He's going to protect him like there was no tomorrow. We've got General Kelly here, willing to do almost everything. It is tight end, by the way. General Kelly, including lie about what a congresswoman said at a particular event. He's going to be very key here. Then we have over here Devin Nunes, the uh, fantastic wide receiver, unbelievable speed. And we've got over here a couple of people here, Jim Jordan and the new phenom, Matt Getz, over here as flankers. And the play that they uh, called, actually it's Coach Coke that called this play in to DT, the quarterback, I forgot one critical person, probably uh, on this play, the most important person, running back, Paul Ryan. Okay, so the play goes like this. DT is going to pump fake to wide receiver Devin Nunes, who's got a memo in his hands while he's running down the sidelines. So DT is going to pump fake over to here. While he's doing that, General Kelly, in order to make everybody believe that it's a pass down to Devin Nunes in the flat going towards the end zone, is going to come back here as though he's going to block, lie again, block DT. Okay. What we really got going down here is another deception. Matt gets is going to run a slant over the middle. So besides double pumping over here to Devin Nunes, DT is also going to look at Matt Getz going uh, across, the, uh, across the field in a slant pad. All to prepare for a lateral pass to running back Paul Ryan, who then, with these guards and linemen blocking, and with Jim Jordan over here also taking out a safety, runs almost unimpeded into the end zone. <laughs> Another play by Coach Koch, because he's done this, you know, a lot of times, Coach Koch. So, what do we have here? We have the end zone and the possible points that could be scored on this play that's worked time and time again. So we have here, ending the ACA, that's a good one, uh, increased defense budget, hooray, offshore drilling, okay, uh, tax cuts, probably the biggest one here, the wall, okay, closing off the wall so that other people can't come in, uh, getting rid of the Consumer Protection Bureau or eviscerating its, its powers, uh, defunding or not funding, again, community health centers, which may leave 29 million Americans without access to health care, and destroying the safety net, a long-time goal uh, uh, for the coach here. So, once again, whether these you mark as six-point touchdowns uh, with a point after, or a field goal, three-pointer, or a two-point conversion, I mean, I would argue that the tax cuts, that's a touchdown. Come on. Destroying the safety net, that's a touchdown. Removing health care coverage for millions and millions of people on top of the uninsured that we already have, that's a touchdown. See some of these other ones, the wall, it's not built yet. That could be a two-point conversion if it finally gets built because it's not going to be built with as much money as they said it was going to be built by. So who, work, who makes out here? Who makes out here is the owners, and so forth and so on. And what I want you to watch is a couple of people here. Paul Ryan, the running back, 
he's used to getting into the end zone. Guy must have about 23 uh, touchdowns this year. What is in it for Paul Ryan? I think you have to watch him, just like you have to watch the money. He's supposedly giving up the possibility of being reelected in November. Why would he do that? I think that Paul Ryan and some of these other people that don't have a problem with not getting reelected are going to make out like bandits. Follow where they go. Are they going to head up a think tank for the conservative right? Are they going to set up their own lobbying firm and have been promised contracts and more contracts? Follow Paul Ryan and some of these other people to find out where they land. Follow this guy here, Matt Getz. He is scary. He's the closest thing that I've seen to Senator Joe McCarthy come along in a long time. Constantly on TV, very passionate, and first time congressman. Got elected in 2017. Why is he on TV as much as he is? Something's going on there. Watch this young blood. So here we have the possible Super Bowl and what do we need to do as the other team, as American citizens, is we've got to understand the playbook and we've got to mount a tremendous defense. And in my next two videos, analyzing this situation, I hope you're going to stay with me on those two videos, I'm going to lay out some possibilities for how we look at defending against this incredibly effective play. Bye.